This is my quilt, Mad Bubbles. So this one was kind of an exercise in serendipity for me. Um, it started out as with other intentions and I wanted to, I've been playing with the technique of doing some quilting and adding some raw edge strips to the background before I put my bias strips on top. And so with this one I decided I wanted to make some disruption to the order of the background and I wanted to put some raw edge strips in the background but I chose colors that were almost identical to the actual background and they completely faded. It was the first time I'd done it, so I thought, you know, in my mind it was gonna really stick out. It did not. So I set the quilted quilt top aside for some time, but you know, it was sort of begging for something. <laughs> so in the end, I um, remembered a piece I had done a few years earlier, sort of a sketch as part of one of my 100 day projects. And I turned the piece on its side. It was originally supposed to be horizontal and added the red ovals and a bit of hand stitching. So, um, and there you have it. Yeah. <laughs>